A P C accounting for your future. Hi, this is Dave from A P C, and I'm the course director here at A P C. And in this video, we're going to talk about the SIMA E2 project and relationship management, and how the SIMA E2 examiner may test you in this particular exam. The first part of this video is we're going to look at the syllabus outlined by the SIMA. We've got four sections with regards to the SIMA E2. The first section is talking about the strategy as well as the global business environments. So the strategy is where we're going to look at different strategies in turn. How are we going to develop the strategy within the company and what types of strategies there are. For example, here for the APSA, we've got three types of strategies. We've got corporates, business, and operational strategy. And our corporate strategy talks about which industry we are in. For example, we are in the education company industry. The business strategy means how we're going to compete with our competitors. So here for the APSA, we offered highly efficient videos for you to help with your SIM exams with low costs. Okay, so that's our business strategy. And the operational strategy then is how we're going to put the business as well as the corporate strategies into practices. For example, through a lot of this advertisement campaign, talk about the marketing uh, functions, marketing aspects of the company, as well as the human resource management issues as well, because we're going to uh, recruit the uh, very, very talented people to work for us in order to sell the courses to students to help with the exams. So this section B of this syllabus is talking about the human aspect within your organisation. Most importantly, it is all based upon the concepts that we've learned in the SIMA E1 organisational management where we've talked about quite a lot of these issues related to the management, uh, the human resource management theories. But now in the SIMA E2 is where we're going to put those theories in the real practices. It's how we're going to actually motivate the employees within a company, how we're going to exercise our leadership when managing the staff within a company as well. And also within a section C, it's going to look at the managing the relationships. Mainly we are focusing on the teams within a company. Of course, within a company we're going to do lots of these projects and for different projects we're going to have different types of teams. So we're going to have the teams to do different projects successfully. But how are we going to motivate the teams? How much bonuses we're going to give them? etc. is absolutely important within the business. So that's the reason why we're going to look at the section C. And finally, we are going to look at the project as well as the change management. So what do I mean by projects is, for example, think about your exams. You're taking the SIMA E2 exam, you're starting up a project because you've got the start date, which is the date that you enter into the exam, and the ending date, which means the date that you end the exam and get the result from the SIMA telling you a pass in the exam. And during which you've allocated the budget, which means you spend lots of expenses related to the exam fee as well as the tuition fee. And also you've got the quality as well. Because, for example, 70 marks, you can pass this exam. If you've got less than that, you will fail the exam. So that's the reason why you've got a starting date, ending date, you've got a budget as well as the quality. That's what I mean by project. How are we going to manage this project then? Well, one of the very, very important aspects related to it is talking about risks. There will be risks. That maybe, for example, you plan to study today, but because some of the emerging issues may happen, you will delay your study until one month later. That's called a sp splitage of the, uh, of the time. So that's not only for that, but also the splitage of the budget may work as well. So, for example, you plan to spend uh, only 20 UK pounds. Uh, to study a SIMA E2 course, but it actually costs you 50 or maybe 79 or whatever. 
because of the tuition fees changed. Now, so with Sotobit, how are we going to manage those issues? That's what I mean by project manageable. So we have to manage those issues correctly, making sure the project will be successfully implemented within a company. And also we're going to look at the change. So change is absolutely important thing. For example, think about it this way. Your company is going to expand to businesses by building a subsidiary in India. But you're based in the UK. You're going to send your marketing director in India. Is he willing to do that? If you say to the marketing director, I'm going to give you ten dollars. I'm going to give give you ten million dollars if you were to go to India. But the marketing director may say to you, no, no, thank you. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to quit the job. Because I do think that money is not the most important issue. But in some of the circumstances, the social relationships within the UK for that particular marketing director is more important than the money that the, advanced, uh, that the marketing director has got if he were to work in India. So of course, how to manage the change? How are you going to change that situation? How are you going to manage that process? It's absolutely important. Of course, we're going to look at quite a lot of these tools helping us uh, to manage those changes, uh, I mean, uh, smoothly later on. So those are the four sections within the E2 exam. And this part two of this video, this is where we're going to look at the uh, assessments. So there will be 90 minutes for you to tackle the exam with 60 questions and the passing mark is 70 rather than 50 in the past. The examiner includes, uh, I mean, testing you mainly for the objective test questions, including the multiple choice questions, uh, the drop down uh, box and also the numbers entry, uh, yes or no type of questions. Of course, those will be detailed in our study notes as well as the examples that we will go through in our due course. And look at how APC can help. Of course, we will provide you with the HD quality pre-recorded videos such as this going through the whole syllabus together with our own study notes which are written by our expert tutors here for the APC complying with the latest syllabus detail in the SIMA. We will also tell you how we're going to prepare for the exams and what are the exam techniques that you can have in order to pass this exam easily as well. We will provide you with the tutor support. This means that if you've got any of these inquiries, any of these questions, any of these problems during your study, email tutor and we will provide you with the answer you want. We will have the pass guarantee service. This means that if you fail the exam, don't worry, you can enroll in the course again free of charge until you pass it. And we are sure that with our help, you can pass this exam in one go relatively easily. That's the end of this video and looking forward to seeing you in the actual class. APC, accounting for your future.